Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Mess. So, taking a really fun and interesting and different video for you guys this evening because I never make videos based upon rumors that you read online. Pretty much for the most part, I read them, I think about what might happen in the future, but I don't address it in video form. But when substantiated rumors come out about a potential Virtual Fighter 6 being announced soon by Sega, that does get me excited because if you know anything about the channel, I absolutely love Sega. I've been playing and collecting the arcade and console games for pretty much my entire life, and I've been waiting a very, very long time, as has everyone else to get a new entry in the Virtual Fighter series. So honestly, the idea that Virtual Fighter 6 could be in active development and may be announced soon is definitely something that I do want to talk about. Because when I say I absolutely love Virtual Fighter, I 100% mean it. I have Virtual Fighter 3, 4, and 5 on real arcade boards, and I should collect 2 and the original at some point in time as well. And we're going to be stepping through all the different Virtual Fighter games as footage while I talk about this. But Sega mentioned they were evaluating a new Virtual Fighter game, which makes total sense. I know there hasn't been a virtual fighter game in a long time and maybe modern gamers that got into gaming in the last 10 years don't have the same attachment to this franchise that most of us do but pretty much all of us grew up with virtual fighter seeing the original one in arcades in 3d absolutely blew my mind and i've been playing this franchise ever since and obviously the fighting game genre has gone absolutely nowhere there's tekkens there's street fighters there's so much stuff that's coming out and being successful but sega did talk about reevaluating the series and whether they wanted to bring it into the future. They have teased a lot of new developments, they've got a lot of their old franchises coming back, and it seems like the perfect time for Virtual Fighter 6 to at least get an announcement officially that it is being worked on, because Sega is still at heart an arcade company even if they release a ton of console games. And you'll see here they talked about specifically evaluating Virtual Fighter, saying it doesn't use as many tricks like special moves in Street Fighter, and they want to make it a little bit more dramatic, and I totally understand Sega's impetus here. Street Fighter and Tekken are very over-the-top fighters, even the 2D stuff like the newest Guilty Gears are just filled with flair. Virtual Fighter has always been more realistic outside of the moon jump physics in the first two games. It's fundamentally an amazing fighting game, but it isn't over the top and I do wonder if maybe that might make Sega think it would suffer if they released it now. Now I don't want to see Virtual Fighter go the Street Fighter route and just be completely over the top, not to knock it, it's just not my favorite look whatsoever, but getting a little bit more flair in would definitely be good. But recently, new leaks were on Twitter talking about what's going to be happening with the newest Virtual Fighter. I'm going to be going over all of those because they did get me very excited. But as a basis of what I think Virtual Fighter could do in the future, if I was sitting at the table with Sega, and trust me, I'm not. This is armchair quarterbacking of the ultimate degree. I think if you combine a little bit more of the flair of the Yakuza or Like a Dragon series with all the animated characters and just wildness and marry that together with the functional foundation of what the Virtual Fighter fight engine could be, you'd have something that had more flair, a little bit more pizzazz, but still have that fundamental Virtual Fighter feel. Because this game feels like nothing else, the closest amalgam I would say would be Dead or Alive, and I absolutely love that of Virtual Fighter. I've always been a fan of Street Fighter, I've always been a fan of Tekken, but honestly, if you ask me to pick my favorite fighting game franchise of all time, 10 out of 10 times, I'm going to say the Virtual Fighter series, I've been playing it for that long. Now on to the leak front, they talk about it being an online and easy sports focused title which makes total sense the competitive gaming scene and fighting game scene are what really keep these fighting games alive I'm sure a lot of casual people including myself buy them but honestly it is the esports arena and all the different fighting game tournaments that really make or break these games in the long term. So Sega focusing on robust online support, spectator support, makes total sense. I would love to log into a Virtual Fighter 6 and just watch some of the highest ranking battles that go on in ranked mode. Because while I am good at Virtual Fighter and when Virtual Fighter 5 online on Xbox 360 was out, I was maybe in the top 1000, I'm nowhere near to that level and I'd love to watch those matches on some sort of service. And they did Virtual Fighter 3 Team Battle Online as well in the arcades recently, and this kind of feels like Sega testing the waters on how to make this more of an online focused affair. Because so many of us used to back in the day play fighting games in the same room with friends because online support really wasn't that good. Now today I would say 99 out of 100 fighting game matches I have are going to be on PC or on console on an online service against either friends I know somewhere else or for the most part people I've never met in my life. So focusing on that 
that is going to be of huge importance moving forward. And with Virtua Fighter 3 Team Battle Online, they took a lot of the core mechanics and core online functionality of Ultimate Showdown, which I showed earlier in the video, and married them together. It seems like SIG is almost beta testing the technology underlying what they would like to do with the Virtua Fighter 6, because obviously online is going to be where these games live. Playing the arcade mode, playing the story mode is always fun, but that only lasts for a day or two. Then you're just practicing, and you want to have real matches against real human players because that's where fighting games really come alive. And this leak again talks about streaming and spectating being such an important part and that the reboot is currently in development. We do hope this is true. I would love to hear soon that Virtual Fighter 6 is very close to release or at least see an awesome preview because it has been far too long for this series to not have a new entry. Yes, they've been playing around with Virtual Fighter 5 and 3 Team Battle recently, but honestly, we need Virtual Fighter 6 and we need it soon. Because I know not everyone would agree that Virtual Fighter 3 is the best game in the series, but I personally think that Virtual Fighter has never done anything wrong. There's five numbered releases, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and I think they're five of the best 3D fighting games ever made. And for me personally, 3 Team Battle is one of my favorites because I played the ever-loving hell out of this when it came out on Dreamcast, but leave me a comment down below and tell me what your favorite Virtual Fighter game is. I would be curious to hear. As we go back out to the leaked information, again, it's going to emphasize that they really want to be competitive with Street Fighter and Tekken which makes perfect sense. Those are the other two big competitors in the 3D fighting game space. Obviously, there's a lot more development going on on the 2D sphere, but Sega does not want to release a Virtual Fighter 6 if they don't think they can be competitive with Street Fighter and Tekken, not just from a popularity standpoint, from a longevity standpoint. Fighting games need to do a lot of business for a long time to be worth making. This is not the type of thing that you release and then two months later the servers are dead and call a success. As we move to Virtual Fighter 2, another amazing game, they talk about that there's going to be all new stories as well as new characters and I do think Virtual Fighter as a franchise is due for some new characters as well. I'd love to see the roster expand but I do want to see a game that releases with basically every character from Virtual Fighter 5 on with new characters. Sega is smart, they don't usually do this. I don't want to see that new generation of 3D fighting game where you only have a character roster of like 10 to 12 characters and they decide to add them later on. Sure, there's going to be DLC costumes and stuff like that, but honestly, give me a fully featured game day one. Don't do something like Street Fighter V. And they're talking about evolution of rank matches as well. That's very familiar to modern fighting games. And I would say that eSports Virtual Fighter 3 Team Battle is already doing this. So it really does feel like Sega is just playing around to make sure that the love is still there for Virtual Fighter because again it's been a long time since we've seen a Virtual Fighter release and some people that are getting into gaming now you know in their late teens early 20s just graduating college did not grow up with Virtual Fighter sure maybe they heard that Ultimate Battle was out or anything like that but honestly they've probably been playing Street Fighter and Tekken because those are new releases so Sega is not just trying to cater to us the people that grew up in the 90s that were playing all of these titles from back in the day they want us to play it they need us to play it, but they want to bring an entire new audience to the table to make sure Virtual Fighter 6 would be a success and to be able to continue the series forward. And that is a very smart move. But honestly, I just need more Virtual Fighter in my life. We can't end at 5. Sega's been doing a really good job recently of bringing back old franchises and rebooting them or giving us new entries in them. And I'm really hopeful that Virtual Fighter 6 does that and we know by the end of the year what's going to actually be happening. Because honestly, I just need more Virtual Fighter 6 in my life and I'm sure you do too. And if I had to pick my perfect version of a potential new game. It's the Virtual Fighter engine with a couple new features, give us new characters, an awesome story mode, an awesome arcade mode, and netcode and online play that just works we never have to think about in the background. And then give me a lobby that I can watch some of the best players in the world compete in ranked battles so I realize just how bad I actually suck at the game when I think about my skill level. But it seems like Virtual Fighter 6 might be coming. I hope we know by the end of the year, but leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. I just want to play more Virtual Fighter and I'm sure you do too. I'll see you guys next time though. Bye-bye.